Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well. Peace and salutation to all sincere Achim. They wrote there, of course, risking their lives and their freedom to bring out the Samoth, which is the truth of the scriptures. Yahweh is the true, almighty, and only powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and his only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem meaning in the name, Racha meaning spirit, Kodash is holy, which I said in the Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash, which is the holy tongue that has been returned onto the Hebrew Israelites, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and also you that, of course, have been scattered amongst the different nations because part of the curses that has been put upon the nation of Israel is that we would be scattered amongst. All countries across the four winds so there are Israelites that look like the heathen throughout these different countries but if of course your spirit bear witness with our spirit the spirit of the scriptures it resonate with you it's probably because you are Israelite that of course goes through the lineage of your father and it's all through the spirit that is determined all right I'm the brother of Mafa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp here in Great Babylon, which is America in the States. Coming again with another lesson to the Chakodash, which is the Holy Spirit. This particular lesson is about Scotland to embed LGBTI teaching across the curriculum. Which this of course deals with what? Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual. And I'm not sure what the I stands for. But maybe it's in this article. You know it's uh, wickedness. At, and at whole. It deals of course with homosexuality. Alright. Of course another disclaimer that I must say. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We are not black people. We are. Are from the 12 tribes of Israel the people whom are anointed the people of the scriptures who have been separated from the rest of the nations we are not connected at Great Millstone with any black extremist groups or any black extreme uh, black uh, you say supremacy groups of any kind we are simply the Hebrew Israelites who preach the gospel of the Bible, which is unto the nation of Israel. Now going back into the article, it says Scotland will become the first country in the world to embed the teaching of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex, which this has to be a Kodash or, or Chadash actually, intersex, a new Thing that has been added to this particular, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, um, let me see. I forget what it's called. The actual term. It says here intersex. I'll get the term in a moment. It, uh, it says intersex relating and denoting a person, animal, or both man, male and female, or other sexual characteristics. An intersex child, she identifies as intersex, which, as we know, in the scriptures, the Lord, of course, created male and female. And so you're either a male or a female. And the Lord, of course, isn't the author of confusion. All right. So we can go, of course, to the, the, the beginnings of our Ashiath. Which is Hebrew for in the headings. And get some edification just so that you know. Because intersex and, and anything of that nature, that's confusion. Alright, the Lord didn't, of course, create any of this confusion which the so-called white man perpetuates. Alright. Meaning, this is a, a working of Satan. Which is the, uh, the enemy and adversary. Alright. Of the whole world. 
especially unto you Hebrew Israelites. So I'm I'm going to go to Genesis, the first chapter, just to get the scripture. Right, this is uh, the book of Genesis 1. I could start, I'm, I could actually start at 1 and 25. It says, In the powers, the Alahayim, all right, which in the Hebrew, that's the angels, all right, going on, made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, in the Alahayim, which is the powers. Saw that it was good And Allah Hayim said Let us make man in our image After our likeness And let them have dominion over The fish of the sea Which this this image of course is law and order So that's a whole nother lesson In its own Alright Which the angels of course have Law and order Alright Going on And we are angels in this flesh too As well you know, in these under these chains of darkness. Alright. Going on. And it says, And over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So the Allahim created man in his own image. In the image of powers he created him, male and create and female created he them. Alright. And it says, And the Allahim blessed them. And the Alahayim said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue, subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon Aratazah, the earth. Which this explains the creation in which why a man and woman are Ayash, which means man in Hebrew, and of course. Asha, which is woman, was created. All right, they were, which is the Hebrew word for woman is a uh, Asha. All right, a Ah and a Sha and a Ha, I believe. Which you know that didn't, that's females, okay? Which you can go on if you know if you want. Don't want to trust what I'm saying. You can of course go into what you can go into the, to the Hebrew. Which I mean, you have it here for female. They got actually an, another term here, which um, they have it. Well, let me see. They got female, woman. All right, which I'm gonna go actually and show you. Let me see. I want to go for a uh, woman, which I, I can get in another another lesson. But you know, just so you know, woman, which means female servant, is a shah. All right, no, but. It, this isn't the, the the primary focus right now of the um the lesson. All right, it's just the the primary focus of the lesson is all right. Men and f male and female were created in order, and you, you kind of get anything good out out of what um anything of of uh, homosexuality, uh, this confusion which. The so-called white man created, all right. Which I'm gonna go into this furthermore, and it says, it says, um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex rights in school curriculum, and what campaigners have described as a historic moment. State schools will be required to teach pupils about the history of LGBTI equalities and movements, as well as tackling homophobia. And transphobia and exploring LGBTI identity. After ministers accepted in full recommendation of working group led by the Time Inclusive Education campaign, there will be no exemptions or updates to policy which will embed LGBTI in its exclusive 
education across curriculum and across subjects in which the Scottish government believes is a world first, a first, a chad, Hebrew word for first, or one, so a chad. It says, daily, uh, John, John, or Yarda, or Jordan, Dali, the co-founder of TIE, said, the destructive legacy of of Selection 28 has come to an end. This legislation included in 1988 by local authorities in UK from promoting homosexuality until it was eventually repealed in Scotland 2001 and the rest of the UK two years later. So, it says also, Daly said, this moment, victory of our campaign is a historic moment for our country to implement our implementation of the LBTI ex exclusive education across all state schools is the world's first fuss in a time of global uncertain in the time of global uncertainty this sends a strong and clear message to LGBTI young people that they are valued here in Scotland and this is all wickedness all right so you have it here in Scotland which, uh, of course, is a part of Great Britain. Britain. They are in support as a whole with this you know, this homosexuality. All right, which we're going to go what the scriptures say, which I can go to various scriptures. But I'm going to start here at the Book of Wisdom of Solomon 14 in the Apocrypha, which the Edomites, the so-called, who are the so-called white men, all right? Which there's no such thing as a white man. You have people, of course, that are of color, which have hue, which are of burn, all right? Light, light hues to dark hues. And you have, of course, people that are red, that have been lacking are they have been stripped of their melanin, which that is the Edomites or Cain, all right? Same spirit, same people, all right? So let's go to, uh, I'm going to start here. It goes a bit into creation of idolatry, not wickedness and such, but I'm going to start here. Verse 24, Wisdom of Solomon 14 and, th and 24 it says, They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled which marriages of course is when you join together all right but either one slew another traitorously or grieved him by adultery which the adultery is when of course I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a man sleeps with another man's woman which a, a woman is of course the property of a man all right once of course she is married onto a husband because prior she will be the husband she will be the a property of her father all right going on and it says so that there reign in all men without exemption blood manslaughter theft dissimulation corruption unfaithfulness tumults perjury disquieting of good men forgetfulness of good turns defiling of souls Changing of kind, which changing of kind, that's dealing with, of course, with what? Your transsexuals, all right? Who, what? They, they of course, may, may have a part from what? Um, of a, of a they, you know, they may identify themselves as a man, but they are really been born a woman. You know, and that's confusion. That's why... Babylon must be destroyed. But anyway, it says disorder in marriage, adultery, and shameless uncleanliness, which that bring forth, of course, that them those things. All right, uncleanliness, because it's it's ritually unclean. All right, and you you of course having to performing these different acts, which you know, I must uh, mention, of course, of going and enter into a rectum you know th this is these things are all confusion all right and it's not fruitful 
all right, for the planet nor for the individuals, all right. Let's uh, go to the book of Jude 1 and 7. It says, even as Salt and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for example, suffering vengeance of eternal fire. Which what? Salt and Gomorrah got destroyed for what? Because of the wicked acts, all right? Which, um, of course, the Great Babylon, America is gonna be destroyed. Um, Scotland, I mean, it's gonna. They have missiles, all right. They got the Triton, all right. Uh, parts of that gonna get hit, you know. May, you know, whatever Yahweh Shem Yahweh is gonna send these missiles to to, of course, cleanse this earth of all this wickedness, all right. Which Salt and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire and brimstone, all right. Another scripture right here. This is Second Peter two and six. It says, uh, "Let me see. I can. I, I'm like, yeah. Let's go here. It says, in turning the cities of Salt and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that should live ungodly." It says, "In delivered just law, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked," which, you, you, of course, uh, Lot and his what his uh, two daughters. They were saved. His wife turned back. All right. And of course, that place was destroyed. All right. And, you know, S Scotland is uh, <clears throat> a place, of course, where our people, a lot of our people have, have dwelt, have had control. You know, King James himself. All right. A lot of people, don't, you know, don't know that history. That so-called black men or men of color have ruled those lands. All right. Going back, uh, this is this is another scripture. This is Hosea four and one. It says, "Hear the the word of Yahweh, the Most High's name is Yahweh, which means He is, He exists. Ye children of Israel, or the the children of Israel, of course, are the sons of Israel. All right, which consists so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans." For the the Lord Yahweh hath controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth nor mercy nor knowledge of the power in the land. So Yahweh by Shem Yahshai is going to destroy this place because of what? Our people have went what they done, erred and went out of the way of righteousness and went into these different ways of being as the heathen are. Alright? Because a lot of our people are scattered. In Scotland, all right, living there, and I mean, if you haven't haven't they been there, you know, you can, um, you know, I can speak for myself that there's a lot of Israelites there, all right, been being been there, um, you know, but anyway, this is going to be another scripture, you know, just this is just speaking um, of of things which. It's why America has to be destroyed and why these places are going to be judged. This is Jeremiah 51 and, and, and 6. It says, Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. But our slack, it says, Be not cut off in her iniquity, which is multitude of sin, sin upon sin. For this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense, which is a payback. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that that made all the earth drunken. The, the nations have drunken of her wine, which is a philosophy. Therefore, the nations are mad, in which that's why you see Scotland embracing these different <clears throat> um, agendas, all right, and pushing a, a, what a Scotland embed a LGBTI in teaching across the curriculum. Which that's going to, of course, what? Push acceptance of this stuff, this homosexuality. All right. This is gonna, this is gonna destroy many people. All right. Just this is, this is wicked. All right. This is another scripture I have here, and the whole article is cool, but you know, I, I mean, it's gonna make the lesson too long, so I'm just gonna, of course, uh, this, I just did, did some wee highlights of it. 
I may, of course, uh, speak of it a bit at comp later today. All right. So it says, this is um, the book of Ecclesiasticus in Apocrypha 19 and 22. It says, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. All right. So this isn't a thing that is smart. All right. It's not wisdom. All right. To have this knowledge of wickedness and pushing it upon the people. All right. It says there is a is wickedness in the same an abomination, and there is a fool wanting in wisdom. All right. Now, I want it to go to perhaps the law, so you can see that the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai does not like these wicked acts of homosexuality. Um, I believe it's the Leviticus 20 and 13, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is Leviticus 20 and, 9, 9 and 13. Sach. It says, If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right, so this, of course, is abomination, which the Lord hateth ab abomination, which, you know, due to precepts you have learned. All right. Another scripture just going on to fleeing. All right, it said flee out of Babylon. It says flee from sin, as from the face of a serpent. For if it cometh to near, it, it will bite thee. What well, it's going to, of course, influence you. All right, that, that, that these different philosophies. That strange woman. It says the teeth thereof are the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men. Right, because what for the wages of sin is death. All right. Of course, uh, you know, you, you sin, you know, that brings a about death, mawath, into the world, all right, to your life, all right. It brings iniquity, you, you, you be becoming, um, going after these strange flesh, which, you know, you can see in Romans, the one, the first chapter, around the 26, 24th verse or such, it speaks of, all right, about, uh, which I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, just for the sake of it, I might as well just go into it right now. Or the new. This is going to be Romans, the first chapter. Since I mentioned it, just going directly to the point. Uh, Romans. Uh, I'm going to start here at tw 1 and 24. It says, We're for the power. Also gave them up to uncleanness through their lust of their own hearts, which is your mind, to dishonor their bodies between themselves, who changed the moth or truth of the power into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. That's, of course, going to what? Idolatry. Who is blessed forever, Amman, for th this cause, the power gave them up to vile affections for even their woman. Did change the natural use into that which is against nature, and likewise also the men leaving their un, their natural uh, sorry, it says leaving the natural use of a, of the woman burned in their lust one towards another men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error in which was met. And I mean, this is bringing of course, what nothing but defilement. All right, so I'm not gonna go anymore, even though I would like to. But you know, I hit, think I, I believe I hit the point. Hopefully, this is edifying. All right, as you can see, Scotland to embed LGBTI teachings across the curriculum. They're of course going to be the first country in the world to embed the teaching. Of lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex in the school curriculum. Watch out and flee, of course, from this filthy conversation of this world. Shalom to the like.